Hi everybody, I'm back with my really bright lighting. So I have my new makeup on and as you can see my foundation looks really clear. I'll do a tutorial on it when I have better lighting or when it's darker. But anyway, I promised a bathing suit haul. I was going to show you all my new bathing suits. I haven't worn them. I have tons of them and then we went to the, I went to the drugstore and spent a lot of money. I had a few things on my list that I've been wanting to get and try. So I will go over those with you. There's a few new new products. These are new out on the market. They've sold John Frieda for blonde hair, but these are these are both too new. Uh, they're called Go Blonder Lightening Conditioner and Shampoo Gradually Lightens. And I was hoping it would work on my roots so I don't have to keep going back, going back, going back from my Ulta Nightmare. But anyway, here's what they look like. They are they were six ninety nine each. So it's called Go Blonde. They have them for brunettes, redheads, any color of your hair is. So it says, she said it doesn't damage it. It's, they were $6.99 each. So it was like $15 for the shampoo and the conditioner. They smell fabulous. So there's a shampoo. Whoops, here's a shampoo here. Conditioner, sorry. And then here's the shampoo. You have any questions? I wanted to come home. It says gradually lightening. Um, so yeah, they had sheer blonde. They had a couple other different ones, and I asked the lady, and these were the last two on the rack. So I figured these were probably the best out of. They had like four sets of them. Um, so I'm gonna try them. They smell fabulous, and I will see what they do with my roots, cause I just had my hair. Um, lightened and my roots are already showing so there's that those they smell fabulous so I've never heard of a shampoo lightening your hair besides that sun in I used to use in high school and that fried my hair but I've been wanting to try this this is Hawaiian Tropic this is for by the pool and it's a dark tanning or dry spray oil and it came with a bonus it was $10.99 yeah, it's kind of spendy. It has 12 SPF, which is, isn't much, but I figure if you're going out to get tan, to get a 50 SPF, it's not going to get you tan. So I'm going to try it. It's got a seal on the cap. Um, I imagine it just smells like coconut. It says a warm sun, a warm sun island breezes, uh, luxurious oils, and a heavenly scent. Hawaiian Tropic Dry Oil with UVB sunscreens is infused with island botanicals and soothe and pamper your pamper and antioxidants to nourish your skin to keep your skin soft and looking radiant. So we shall try this. This is, has doesn't have any fake, you know, uh, colors it throws in. At the bottom it says water, water resistant for 40 minutes. Skin nourishing, exotic island botanicals, protect, pamper, and nourish. So I will try this, and I will let you know what the outcome is, or you guys will see my tan. So as you can see, I'm pretty pale with the lighting and the bright window. So there's what I picked. I picked up a whole bunch of other stuff, but like mouthwash, toothpaste, stuff like that, I wasn't going to review. So didn't get any makeup. Um, I still have the Bobbi Brown. I'm going to go over with you. I'm going to do that in a separate video. This one is kind of like a sun video. So here I told you I would go over my bathing suits. Yeah, this is kind of strange, but they're darling and they're brand new. So um, these are from Macy's. Really cute. So here's one of them. Here's the, the bottom. Really cute. It ties on the sides. I love pink and black. My mom got it for me. So here's the, the bottom, and then here's the top. Really cute. It can tie different ways. You can take this off. It's kind of tangled. Let me unhook it real quick. So it's kind of tangled because I just took it out of a box, of course. And excuse the mess. I'm going to work on this today. It can either go around your neck or you can use it as like a strapless like this but it's darling I love the colors so yeah there's that one my first one I think there's like 12 here it's crazy so here's this one I'm missing one I can't find it so really cute colors I love the roses so there's that excuse me I got the sniffles because of the pollen count and then I have I wear this this is like a skirt 
Um, I got it from Victoria's Secret. I have two of them. Sorry about the lighting. It's like a sarong. You just tie it around you. If you don't want to walk in there, I usually take a towel and then I tie this around me. It ties here at the side. It's cute. It's sheer white. It goes with pretty much any bathing suit. So I wear that with all my bathing suits because I don't want to walk in there. I usually put like a t-shirt or something on and excuse me, I didn't bring a tissue. Okay, then there's a whole bunch of other ones. Um, here's another new one. This one is the bottom. It's black and pink. Ties at the sides. I don't even know if these are going to fit me. They look pretty big, but anyway, here's that, the bottom. And then the top is just black. Um, the top is probably going to be a little large, but anyway, here's the top. It's just black. You could probably mix and match with the other one, but I don't usually like that. So I think this would look better together like that. So there's another one. So let me put that above. And then I have a really, they're all darling. I was like, wow, Mom, you did a great job. Here's another one. This one's really cute. This one's purple. And it's got a bow. I think this one's from Victoria's Secret. It's got a bow. It's got a little padding at the top. It ties in the back. So there's the top. And then here's the bottom. It ties on the sides. Really cute. So there's that bathing suit. People in the office or, or whatever are going to think I'm crazy. Okay, so here's another one. This one's really bright, really cute. I will show you a different sarong that goes with this one. This one's more Hawaiian looking. Ties on the sides. Pink, of course. And then the top that goes with it is really cute. It's got padding in, again, in it again. It ties around your neck. And then in the back it just goes around the back. So, as you can see, they're all brand new. They still have the tags. This is made by Roxy. They're all from Macy's. So here's this one. Um, I had them last year. I just had, didn't have the time to wear them. So they're all still brand new. So this one, here's that. Darling. And then I will show you the sarong that I wear with that one. Sorry, I lost you again. Okay, this one is, I think I showed this sarong last year in different ways to use it on a table, as a drape. It's a really big sarong. It has beads on it. You can tie it around your, kind of around your upper half, your breasts, whatever. You can fold it in half and tie it. That's usually how I wear it, like this. Fold it in half. And then on this side it says Victoria's Secret in different words. Just tie it. You can do many different things with the sarong. Um, I did a video, but it has beads to hold it down. You can use it as a tablecloth, as a curtain. Oh, I did many, many things. If you guys want to look that video up for last summer, you can. I think I did a hundred things you can do with the sarong. It was crazy. Anyway, it says summer, Paris, all over it. I got it free with like a $75 purchase. So there's that. Um, okay, so I just showed you this one, and so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bathing suits, um, excuse me, sniffles. This one is a little bit older because you can see it's got the, the old-fashioned kind of, uh, um, what is it, fluorescent looks, but I still wear it. It's kind of high cut in the back. But it's cute, I mean, for a change. So here's this one. Um, and then it has a tie on top. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Here's the top. I really don't like the tie on tops. I like the underwire ones. Um, I'm going to go get a bombshell one from Victoria's. The bombshell ones have obviously padding in them. But anyway, this one hooks in the back. This one isn't brand new. And then I'm missing a couple more. So, yeah, here's this one. It just ties like that. It's pretty skimpy. So, yeah, I'm I'm a little scared to wear this one. So, I have worn it, though. It looks cute. It's like a pink tank top with, like, what I have on now, just over the top. 
and then I just kind of just wear the pink tank top, tank top. So there's that in a sarong with it. And then I have another one. This one, sorry, I don't want all, all these tags hanging. This one is a little bit older. I don't know where. I think I got this one at Target. Not one of my favorites. It's, a little, it's kind of uh, Hawaiian looking. It's just cotton. There's a back. Looks kind of big, like it would be big on me, but it's cute on. And then here's the top. It's got like, it fits strange, but it's really cute. There's the top. And then you can wear like a pink sarong or a white sarong with it. And here's the back. It's cotton. Now, you always want to wash your bathing suits out because of the chlorine. You want to rinse them right away or it ruins them. It ruins the elastic if you get in the pool. I sometimes don't. Um, I'll just rinse off in the shower if I'm hot because I'm just kind of sketchy with pools. Anyway, here's the top. Really cute. You don't have to wear the, you can kind of wear it just like this. So yeah, there's that one. And that is all of them. And I have a really, really cute one that I got a while ago. But they have, you know, the best place to go and get your bathing suits I saw was Dillard's. They had some really cute bathing suits. And they had, I like the underwire ones. They're really cute because they have extra padding, you know, and just kind of makes you, gives you that extra figure look. So there is my blog for today. Well, not everything. I'm going to go over the Bobby Brown makeup later. But is this not a crazy uh, bathing suit collection? Yeah. So there they all are. I will link everything down below. These are all brand new except for one of them, this top one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I told you guys I would do it. And I'm still waiting on my fortune cookie soap box. Um, it kind of got lost in the mail or something. So we'll figure it out. I have another order coming from them. And then my glossy box, like I've said. And then my Ipsy bag, my birch box. Um, I have another fortune cookie soap order. I'm going to go on their website now. Their summer launch. I haven't checked it out. So I will check that out. And then... Um, some furniture. I've got some issues with decorating here. I was going to do some storage things with you guys, show you guys how to store bath products. I was going to get the the tall uh, Hayworth, you know, um, not the the lingerie chest. I thought that would be good to store makeup and stuff because I have so much makeup. My vanity's right here. It's over stuff. But anyway, I don't want to take up too much time. So I will upload this. I'm just going to call it like a bathing suit or sun video or something. And I will let you know how this John Frieda goes. I really want to go wash my hair right now, but I'm going to wait and try it tomorrow. It smells fabulous. I asked the lady at the drugstore if it's going to, like, fry my hair she said no and if you have any problems you can bring it back so I'll try it it was kind of expensive seven dollars a bottle but hey if it takes if it lightens my hair and takes these roots out because I just had it colored about a week ago yeah that's crazy anyway so and then this Hawaiian Tropic I'm excited to try it's spr it's sprayable so which is nice because I get tired of where you can't reach you can spray your back and your husband or if you have a girlfriend she can rub it in but I don't want to just ask somebody so I'll just spray it on my back and back of my legs and stuff but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will be right back and I will do a few products from Bobby Brown that I bought and there's one Mac product so you can tell the how the bags beat up but I saved it to review with you guys I haven't used any of it so, I hope you guys have a great afternoon in the sun. Enjoy your Sunday, and I will be right back. Thanks for watching, and please ignore this mess. I'm still, I'm just about done with the rest of the house, and then I will go mobile. Tomorrow, maybe I'll get a different camera. I can't seem to get video on that other camera. It's just really frustrating. So, and better lighting, and furniture, and yeah. So lots of other stuff coming up so stick with me and I love that that benefit stick um, and the two fine I will show you I didn't put any on my lips I'm wearing the 
MAC Candy Yum Yum. Every time I do a review, I like to let you guys know which lipstick I'm wearing, just so you don't have to ask. So there's what I'm wearing on my lips. So thanks for watching, and I will be right back. If you have any questions on the, these bathing suits, I will answer them. If you have any questions where I got the sarongs, I will answer them. This one's from Victoria's. But yeah, if you want to look back at my old videos, I think I did a hundred ways to use a sarong, and there's a lot of creative different things. Even home decor, it's crazy, or parties, or you can drape it across a, t a table. You can use it as a curtain with clips. I mean, it's crazy, but it works. So anyway, and it's really cute on. I just fold it in half and tie it. But I like the beads. It works outside if you're having a barbecue because the beads hold it down. Anyway, I won't yak forever. But I hope you guys enjoyed my bathing suits. They're darling on. I'm not, of course, I'm not going to model them. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you in a few minutes. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, and I lost my mouse thing. I have to get another mouse. My uh, electronic mouse, so I have to do my finger thing on here.